A popular food is off the menu in all property in one local school district. Good afternoon, I'm Josh Rowe. And I'm Latricia Thomas. Athens City Schools have gone completely peanut free. And as News Channel 9's John Madewell explains, it's all for the safety of the students. John. Well, Latricia and Josh, today was the first full day of school for Athens City Schools. And this peanut ban is something they want all parents to be clear on. It has been a gradual process that is now concrete across the system. A seven-year-old Preston Armstrong is allergic to all nuts, most specifically peanuts. He's a second grader at City Park Elementary School in Athens, which has been peanut free for eight years. And his mother is delighted the whole system has banned peanuts. The school he'll attend next year for third grade was not peanut free until this ban went into effect this year. So I was really excited to hear that we, that's one less worry we'll have next year. Four of the five schools in Athens were already peanut-free school zones because of kids with severe allergies. And the cafeterias had been that way for three years. But the system is taking the ban one step further to include all schools and the buses. And the bus became a real issue. I don't think we could ever keep up with or attract every kid that had an allergy on a bus, making sure some kid from a non-school didn't get on the bus that had peanut butter and their uh, crackers in their pack or had it for lunch. Brandy stands fully behind the steps Athens City Schools has taken. I think it's progressive. I, I think it's great, and I wish that more schools would do that. On the flip side, the school system knows this will change routines and habits for some parents. Well, just we know it's some, you know, some inconvenience, you know, for some parents, but I uh, hope they understand we're just totally concerned about the safety of those kids. And if they're fortunate enough to not have a child with a peanut allergy, then just work with us to try and protect the ones that do. In addition to safety, the ban offers peace of mind. You never know what that child's going to come into contact with after they leave the lunchroom. Mm -hmm. If they're peanut free during lunch, that doesn't mean they didn't get it on their hands or it's still on their face or even the smell of it sometimes can cause a child to have an allergic reaction. Now Athens City Schools had been studying this issue in past years and made the decision on the ban over the summer. Now obviously they are asking parents to not pack any peanut products and they are also asking parents to not feed their children any peanut based foods right before school. Latricia. All right, John, good to know.